We'll get started by coming all the way down to our mat. Just find a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. Cross-legged, legs out in front of you. You can sit in a long butterfly. That works great too. Take your hands right to the tops of your legs and we'll start off with one big roll of the shoulders to open up through the chest. Let your shoulder blades just kind of slide down and back. From here, it's four deep breaths. We'll breathe in through the nose, fill the body up with air. Think about expanding through the rib cage from side to side and front to back. And then we can exhale out, let all of that air go. Good, we'll go for three, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. Good, for two, big inhale. And then exhale out, let it go. For two. And then exhale out, let it go. Sorry, counting is hard. Last one, big inhale. And then exhale out, let everything go. Good. With that last exhale, we're going to take the legs all the way out in front of us. Open your feet up so that they're about mat's distance apart. Flex your feet, pulling toes to nose, reaching the arms out in front of you. We'll take an inhale to sit up tall. Exhale, I want you to round forward through the upper back as if I'm pulling on your fingertips. We reach forward, forward, forward. Inhale right about here and then exhale, pull in from the center of the body, start to restack the spine, shoulders going right on top of the hips, lifting the crown of the head up. For three more, we inhale and then exhale, round forward through the upper back, reaching over for the toes. Inhale here, exhale, pull it right back in. God, did I say three or two? You guys counting. <laughs> inhale up at the top, exhale, round it forward, reach forward. Forward, forward, if this is your first time with me, hi, I'm Margaret, I'm a Pilates instructor and I don't know how to count. Shoulders on top of the hips, crown of the head lifts up, one more for good measure, big inhale to sit up tall, exhale, draw in from the center of the body, pull hips to rib cage, round forward, 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 inhale and then exhale, take it right back up. Good, with that last one, let's bend at the knees, feet uh, come flat onto the mat. We'll take an inhale and then exhale. You start to roll things down towards the mat. We're just gonna come right about to the base of the shoulder blades. You're tucking chin to chest. You'll hold it right here, reach the arms up overhead, and then exhale, circle the arms out by your sides, reach towards the tops of the thighs. You'll roll yourself all the way back up. I need to move over also, I'm gonna hit the wall. Let's go. Uh Four more like this. We roll it down, base of the shoulder blades, lift the arms up, circle the arms out and around, reaching hands towards the tops of the thighs. We bring it right back up. We'll go for three. We haven't done this one in a while. It's okay if your toes lift up off of the mat, that's totally fine, as long as you have a couple of points of contact with the mat. So for me, it's gonna be hips and heels and base of the shoulder blades. Good, this is gonna be two. Good, we're getting a little bit of upper abs. Last one, and then we reverse the direction of the arms. Good, on this one we start to reverse. We'll lower things down as you lift. Wait, no, lower things down as you open the arms out by your sides. Once you get to the tips of the shoulder blades, arms lift up, we'll press them down towards the thighs as we roll ourselves up. We open the arms out as you roll down. Get to the tips of the shoulder blades, lift those arms up and then press down through center. Just for four more, we open up as you roll down. Ooh, lift those arms up, biceps by the ears, press the hands down and then bring it on up. Ooh, we're going for two. And then last one, we open the arms right about at the tips of the shoulder blades. You lift the arms up, press the hands down. We roll all the way up through seated. Now, once you get there, hands can come down by your side, scoot the hips forward, lay all the way down onto your mat. Take a second, take a breath, okay? Um, feet are coming down onto the mat. We're just gonna drop the knees side to side for a second because my hip flexors are feeling a little bit tight, okay? We'll go hands behind the head, open up through the elbows and then lift your right knee so it comes up above your hip. From here, we're exhaling to pull that right knee in. We'll twist left armpit towards the knee. Inhale, you reach the right leg out. You drop head, neck and shoulders down towards the mat. Exhale, we pull in. Inhale as you reach things out. You'll keep moving from here. Exhale, we take it in. Inhale, you reach it out. Good. 
Now, if you feel good right here, we can do a little bit more lifting the left knee up to tabletop and continuing to move like this. Just keeping the left leg still, right? It's gonna be tempting to pull it in, don't. Good. Good, I'm gonna take my left foot back down but you can keep it up if you want to, okay? We're going for four more, it's four, for three, for two, and then last one, right leg reaches out, you're going to take the left leg up to meet it, cross the left leg over top of the right. Hands can stay behind your head. We're just going to pull that left ankle so it comes just over top of the right leg, pulling the left knee out towards the side of the room, sliding the left leg back out so the ankles cross. Exhale, we pull in. Inhale, you'll reach out and you keep moving like this. Bring it in, reach it out. Right leg is at a high diagonal, right? That spot that you can keep your hips and your shoulders still. If you'd like to, you're more than welcome to come up into that upper body crunch, lifting up to the tips of the shoulder blades. Good, but if you wanna keep your head down, by all means, keep your head down, that's okay. Good. Okay, we're going to build off of this. Next time you slide that left leg out over top of the right, you're going to uncross the ankles, right leg goes on top, cross the ankles again, left leg goes on top, pull the left leg in, slide it back out. We cross, cross, slide in, reach out, cross, cross, slide in, reach out, cross, cross. Good. Now again, head can come down towards the mat for sure. You can do this same thing with your head and shoulders all the way down. That works perfectly fine. Cross, 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 cross. Good. Okay, we're moving through four more like this. Four, three, two, last one. Good, take a deep breath, pull things down, bend at the knees, pull the knees towards your chest. We'll take that same series again, hitting the other side when you are ready. Right foot comes down onto the mat, left knee lifts above the hip, hands stay behind the head, we open up through the chest. Big exhale as you pull that left knee in towards you, twisting right armpit towards the left knee. Inhale as you reach that left leg out, dropping down through head, neck, and shoulders. Exhale, we bring it in. Inhale, you reach things out. Now again, same thing as the first side. If you'd like to, you can lift that right knee just so that it comes up to tabletop. That's totally an option. I think for me, I'm gonna keep my right foot down, but if you're really feeling it, by all means, bring it to tabletop. Whew. Okay, we're doing good. We'll only be here for about four more. Four, three, for two, last one. Head comes down, left leg reaches out. We bring the right leg on uh, up to meet the left and then we're going to cross the right ankle over the left. We take an exhale, bend at the right knee, pull the knee out towards the side of the room. Right ankle comes just above the left knee. Inhale, you slide that right leg back out, okay? So legs are at a high diagonal. You'll notice right away if you lower your legs a little bit too far, that's what forces the low back to lift off of the mat. Okay, so your leg can be all the way up. You can have a little bend at the knee, whatever's going to work. I know for a lot of us, it's challenging to get the legs all the way up above the hips. It requires a little bit of hamstring flexibility. It requires, you know, letting go of that tension in the hamstrings, which can be tough. It can be super tough, okay? Now, if you're ready and you want to, we come up into that upper body crunch. Okay, we're doing four more and then we add on, it's four, for three, for two, 
Last one on this one, we add on. You're going to cross, so the left leg comes on top of the right, cross again, pull the right leg in, slide it out. Cross, cross, bring it in, slide it out. Cross, cross, whoop, bring it in, slide it out. Optional to stay up in your crunch. If you hate that, drop your head down. That's perfectly okay. Whew. In, out, cross, cross. In, out, cross, cross. Good. For four, three, two, last one. Oh, good. With that last one, pull the knees in towards your chest. Let your shoulders and head come down towards the mat. Take a deep breath, a little rock from side to side. Awesome. Okay. When you're ready, both feet coming down towards the mat. We're going to press down into the heels pretty evenly, bringing the hands down by our sides. We'll roll shoulders down and back, pressing into the backs of the shoulders, the triceps and the hands. I want you to press down into that left heel, get lighter through the right foot. You're going to give me a big exhale. Start to lift the hips up as you lift the right knee. So it comes up above the hip inhale here, and then exhale, bring things all the way back down, right toes tap to the mat. Big exhale. We press up and lift right knee above the hip. Inhale and then exhale, bring it right back down. Good. Okay, we're going for four more. It's four. For three. For two. Last one, you lift up and hold. Right leg kicks up to straight. You take an inhale, bend at the right knee, cross the right ankle over the top of the left, keeping the hips lifted. You inhale, reach that right leg back out. Exhale, we bend the knee, cross that right ankle over top of the left. Inhale, reach it back out. We go in and we take it out. I know I said this was a core workout and it is, right? Cause the leg's moving away from the body. So not only are we getting a lot of work through that left glute, through the left hamstring, but it's also a lot of work on our core to stabilize us. Okay, let's go for four. For three. For two. Last one. Good, right leg is going to kick back up above the hip, take out that rotation through the hip, pointing through the toes, 10 tiny pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, whew, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes down, right foot comes down to the mat. We get lighter through the left foot. When you're ready, you press into the right heel. We lift the hips up, left knee comes with you. Inhale and then exhale, everything comes right back down. Big exhale, we lift up. Inhale and then exhale, take it back down. We're stabilizing through the backs of the shoulders, stabilizing through the hands, obviously stabilizing through the core and through that right foot. Okay. Continue to use those big, deep breaths. Good, let's go for four more. It's four. For three. Two. Last one, you lift and hold. Lift and hold, kick that left leg up, open up from the hip, take an inhale, bend the knee, cross that left ankle for the top of the right leg and then kick the leg back out. Bend and cross, kick out and reach. Bend and cross, do you feel yourself pressing evenly into the backs of both of your shoulders? Are you pressing into your hands? Or are you just letting that right hamstring and glute do all the work? <laughs> Whew. All right, we're going for four more right here, it's four. For three, for two, last one, left leg kicks out, point it up towards the ceiling, taking the rotation out of your hip, 10 tiny pulses, we go 10, nine, eight, 
and lower. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, everything lowers down. Oh my God, <laughs> bend the left knee, take your foot down to the mat, and then take a second, drop your knees from one side, up through center, and then over to the other. Good. Okay, from right here, we're just gonna transition a little bit into the back body. So we're rolling all the way over onto our mat, coming face down right here, opening up through the feet. Whew. All right, reaching the arms back behind you, flip your fingertips up towards the ceiling. We take a big exhale, lift up through the chest, lift your gaze, reach fingertips back towards the heels, and then inhale as you lower everything back down. Big exhale, we lift up. Inhale, you take it down. For four more, we lift. For two. And then last one. Good, with that last one, everything comes in, hands underneath the shoulders, bring the legs together, press yourself all the way up, and then reach hips back to heels, finding a child's pose for just a moment, okay? We're not gonna be here super long, unless you feel like you need to be, then stay here longer, by all means. Whew, okay. When you're ready, we're going to bring ourselves forward. Hands are coming down to your mat. Feet can go back. We'll find a high plank. If a high plank is not something that's going to be in the cards for you today, that's okay. You're more than welcome to come down to the forearms, or you can keep your knees down as well. It's totally up to you, okay? I'm going to go hands down and then step my feet back. Feet will go out about hips distance apart. We're spreading out through the fingertips, rolling the shoulders down and back, thinking about pressing up and away from them mat. From right here, we're going to bend the left knee, tap the left knee down towards the mat. Exhale, press it back. Right knee taps down and it presses back. We go left knee and then right knee for six more each side. It's six and six, five and five. Hips will drop a little bit. Four and four, three, three, for two, two, last one, and one. We'll drop both the knees down, untuck the toes, press hips to heels, and take a child's pose. Whew. Okay, good. Take a second. Take a breath. All right, when you're ready, we're coming back up onto those hands. If you don't want to be on your hands, you just take a second. You can skip the rest of this section, okay? Knees are coming in this time. Knees go right underneath your hips. We're going to tuck the toes under. Spread out through your fingertips really wide. So you're pressing into the fingertips, pressing into the knuckles and the heels of the hands. Tuck the tailbone under so we're in neutral. Take an exhale to hover the knees off of the mat. Pause right there. We step the left foot back. Bring it in. We go for six. Just the left side for five for four, for three, two, last one, left knee pulls in, same thing on the right, right foot steps out, and in we go for six, for five, four, three, two, and one right foot comes in, drop down to the knees, untuck the toes, press hips to heels, take a child's pose. Whew. Okay, take a second, roll out through the wrist, take a couple breaths. We're doing good, and we're right there at the end. Okay, we're doing good. When you're ready, we're coming back up into our plank. I'm sure you did not see that coming, right? No, you totally did. Hands are coming down to the mat. Ah, okay, we're stepping the feet back and we'll start off with a little bit of a stretch right here. Big exhale, press the hips up, two straight legs, pressing the chest towards the tops of your legs, pressing the heels down. You'll inhale, pull forward, coming back to plank. Big exhale, press the hips up, press the heels down. Inhale, take it back to plank. Good, let's go for four. For three, for two, 
And then last one, we're coming back to plank. Walk your feet out a little bit wider than your hips. Right hand stays down, left hand reaches back towards the right foot as you press the hips up. Inhale, we take it forward. Same thing on the other side. Reach back and across. We'll just go for four and four for three and three for two and two. Last one and one. Everything comes in, knees drop down, untuck the toes, press hips to heels. Take your child's pose. Take a moment, take a breath, okay? When you're ready, good news is we're gonna take some stretches. Bad news is like we're probably a little bit warm, warmer than we had anticipated. Hands are coming forward. You're going to keep the hips reaching towards the heels, okay? So we're at a little bit of a hinge forward. Hands are just in front of us, okay? Just take a second. Roll the shoulders down and back. Ooh. Okay, and then let's flip the palms up towards the ceiling. We're just gonna press the wrist down into the mat a little bit. If this doesn't feel so nice, come out of it. Again, roll the shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath, big inhale. Exhale out as you let it go. Let the wrist sink further down towards the mat. Good. Okay, when you're ready, keeping the palms flipping up, we're going to flip the fingertips in towards each other, wrists out towards the edges of the mat. Again, rolling shoulders down and back. Good. Okay. Woo, when you're ready, hands are coming forward. Hopefully that was enough of a release at the wrist. We'll take three rounds of cat-cow, inhaling to arch at the back, open up through the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Big exhale, press up and away, curving the spine as if you are an angry cat. Inhale, we bring it down. Exhale, we press up and away. For one more, we inhale, arch. Exhale, press up and away. And then when you're ready, we go hips back to heels, walk the hands in, shoulders stack on top of the hips, crown of the head lifts up. We'll take an inhale to reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, press that left hand down by your side, reaching the right arm up. Good, we'll inhale, press up through center, take the same thing over towards the right. Right hand goes down, left arm reaches up. Good, we'll come up through center, take one final inhale, reaching fingertips up towards the ceiling, maybe gently pressing the chest forward, arching a little bit through the back. When you're ready, we can bring everything in, take any other stretches you feel like you need, and you're all finished with me for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know down in the comments. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just get